let me tell you a story about gringo prices in Colombia. Welcome back to How to Expat. My name is Sam, and on How to Expat, we help expats relocate. In this video, I want to talk about a topic that is very polarizing about the expat community, and this is gringo prices. So a lot of people, um, they ask us, can you help me find an apartment? I found an apartment for $1,250 and I saw on your video that you just paid $320. So I'm sure I will get gringo priced with the apartment $1,250. So help me get another apartment. So and then we usually write back, yeah, okay, but um, what kind of documents do you have from Colombia? Because the process here is quite different. Just because you don't get an apartment of 320 bucks, uh, 20 bucks doesn't mean that you're getting gringo prices. So in this video, I just want to shine some light on that topic of all the gringo prices, all the misconceptions there are around uh, to clear them up with like boots on the ground experience on my side. So first, I will want to tell you, want to tell you a little bit about the process here of gringo prices, and then I will tell you my story how I got rid of gringo prices in my life. So yeah, for those that don't know Gringo prices is that you're getting gouged because you're a foreigner and you don't know the prices. So, uh, and in a lot of aspects in life, it's not really too big of an issue. It's more about the thing of rental apartments. Um, so we're just going to hit that topic today. So uh, how the process really works as a rental apartment. So um, here in Colombia, you need to have for more or less for all unfurnished apartments, and for uh, also sometimes furnished apartments, you need to have a co-signer. So somebody that, uh, that will pay the money to the agency when you don't pay the money or if you break something and leave country, they are stuck uh, with the problem. So this is not just a, a, a foreigner thing. This is the Colombians have to do that as well. So yeah, this is how the process works. So, and many expats come here to Medellin, Colombia, and they think they have read, they, they did a good job, they researched a lot, they read all the blogs, international living, living in the West, overseas, they watched all of our videos, and they're very well informed. But then they get confused because uh, they ask us, as I said, I have an apartment for, for way much that I'm, I know I have to pay because I watch your videos. So, what we, can we do? Can you help me? And then we have to say, well, okay, but 1250 for to start is not a bad thing. And then they get quite confused and yeah, because, but you rent an apartment for 320 bucks. So let me tell you how the process is for an expat here. So uh, many expats come here, they read the blogs, as I said, and they want to, they're going to get to search for an apartment. They're here, let's say in one month in an Airbnb and they say in this month, I will find a, a real true Colombian apartment. So they go on Facebook groups, they go on, um, they call agencies, maybe they already speak Spanish and then they find a good apartment. They go to the agency and then they uh, watch the apartment, then the time comes when they have to do the contract and then the, the realtor asks them, okay, um, so uh, can you provide me uh, six months of bank statements? He said, well, of course, but from my, like from my U.S. bank account. And I said, yeah, we don't take that. Don't you have a Colombian bank account? And of course, you as a new expat have to say, no, I'm just here for one month. I don't have a Colombian bank account with like six months of statements. And then I say, yeah, yeah I'm sorry, we can't do that. And the other thing is, if you even have a bank account, they will ask you, okay, so now present me please two co-signers. So you're, you're, I'm in Colombia for like four months. I don't have two co-signers in, in Colombia. Uh, can we do something different? And sometimes you can negotiate something and sometimes you cannot do it. So uh, yeah, this is really the thing you have to do. And I want to really clarify something. If you have a company that um, there's, there are a lot of uh, expat companies around that help expats get an apartment. And some of them, they have an apartment in the same neighborhood where a Colombian pays like $500 rent. They have like a, a similar apartment with some companies that say, okay, $800, $1,000. But then you have the company that say $1,500, $2,500. So you have a lot of variety in the prices there. But what you as a new expert have to realize, you won't get the Colombian prices as we do right now for our apartment with $320. You cannot get that from the beginning. Let me tell you my story, how we did it, so you can relate to that. I think that's always easiest. 
So we came to Colombia. Um, we traveled around two months to find our home. Then we saw, okay, Medellin would be it. We stayed in Medellin for another two months in Airbnbs in different neighborhoods. And I think that was a quite a good idea. And then we found the neighborhood we wanted to stay in. Then uh, we know that we knew the problem with the cosigner and we didn't know have any cosigner when we want to have a furnished place anyway. So uh, also with the help of our friend Anna, we then got uh, a very good deal on the Airbnb. And um, we, we, negotiated, we negotiated something with an Airbnb and then we had kind of a good price. We paid around or $650, I think it was, for a very, very small one bedroom apartment, kind of dark outside of the main areas of the city and stuff like that. So we had to be on a budget at that time because we had no money coming in. And yeah, then we stayed there for like four months. During those four months, we got out, our Spanish got better. We could talk to the people, we could call agencies. We went to a couple of agencies and then we found a good apartment we liked and we had to go to the agencies and uh, to the agency uh, and negotiate with them in Spanish, all in Spanish. And they told us we need, uh, we need co-signers or a deposit and it was quite complicated. The whole process where it was during one month where it was all on and off. So they said, yeah, we can do it. Then they called us back. No, we can't do it. Do you have those documents? Then we delivered some kind of documents. Then they said, okay, that's good. Two days later, they asked again, uh, uh, answered back and said, no, we now need another Fiador. So it was quite a lengthy and, and, and difficult process, but at the end we were lucky. Uh, it somehow went through. Still to this day, I don't know really how exactly, but it went through. And now we have a real Colombian uh, apartment with real Colombian prices. But that took four months of uh, searching um, and another year or two years of speaking Spanish because that was all in Spanish. So. Uh, the, 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 in a nutshell, what I'm trying to explain here is that you cannot expect to come to Colombia and then have a local prices like we do. We try to, to communicate that in our apartment, uh, in our videos about the apartments, but just here in this video, I want to talk about this, uh, yeah, more in detail because uh, we've seen yeah, a lot of people are quite confused. So this is really a learning curve. So this for us to really get that apartment, to get the cost of living down, that took us almost uh, six, uh, it's like nine months of, uh, of being in Medellin and now we have the local, local prices. So just make sure to, to understand that. And this is, uh, as I said, not just a foreigner thing, that's a Colombian thing too. I know three friends right now that are Colombian friends that have the same issues. They cannot change their apartments because maybe they don't have a Viador also and stuff like that. So yeah, that's kind of the harsh truth here in Colombia. But once you, once you manage to do that really, uh, then your cost of living is, is, is so much down. So yeah, just just to make sure. So uh, what we help here at How to Expert is you to find a fair deal for you. We cannot do magic. This is we cannot. We we just take care of you. Um, we translate all the things. We get you to the people we trust. This is what we do at How to Expert. As I said, we are no magicians. We don't do magic here. And after that, you have the, this apartment. We will teach you how you then can get to, to an apartment here in Colombia with even lower prices. So this is what we can do for you. I hope this cleared up some many, many misconceptions. Uh, yeah, I think that was it for the video. Don't forget, we have also a website with many, many great articles in there, a free country test and much, much more. So make sure to check it out now.